Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I'm going to install a Focus Cube 3 from Pegasus Astro onto my Starfield Optics Newtonian Astrograph. The procedure for doing this, I, I, I want to give you a basic overview of how the installation is done of one of these Focus Cube 3s. The installation for you may vary though slightly based on your telescope make and model of focuser, but it'll be very similar. The Focus Cube 3 is Pegasus Astro's latest and greatest motorized electronic focuser and it features a Wi-Fi, a hotspot, uh, alpaca support, ASCOM, and it has a USB-C connection for both power and data. So you don't need two cables, one for power and one for data. The USB-C cable does both, which is really nice. Uh, one less cable is always welcome. All right, so let's get over to the telescope and we'll do this installation. All right, so I have some tools here and some of the parts for the Focus Cube 3. Um, the screws, Allen wrenches, the universal bracket which I put together. Uh, took two screws to put that together. And uh, there's the screws that come with the Focus Cube 3, different sizes for uh, mounting. This is the Focus Cube 3 itself and I've got the sleeve that fits my focuser on it already attached these are the uh, extra sleeves that come with it various sizes so that you can match it up to your uh, focuser what uh, what fits properly just by uh, seeing if they slide on and then they uh, then they tighten on with uh, two grub screws onto the focuser now I've got to mount the Focus Cube 3 onto the focuser here. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is probably attach the Focus Cube to the universal bracket. So this is the universal bracket that comes with it. It comes in two pieces, but you put it together with two screws and it gets attached here like this on the focuser. And you can adjust it so that you can find the proper position but I'm going to need to put the uh, Focus Cube 3 on this first, so I'm going to do that. Um, let me just move some of this stuff out of the way. And I will insert the Focus Cube 3 into the universal bracket. So that's the universal bracket with it, everything sitting the way that it probably should. I still have to do some fine-tuning, some tweaking when I get it on the focuser, but uh, so it comes with these small screws and they uh, secure the Focus Cube 3 to the universal bracket. Just go on there, there's four of them. So I'm just going to do that real quick. Okay, ta-da! There's the Focus Cube 3 attached to the universal bracket with the four screws. I'll probably have to do some adjustment in uh, positioning of it once I get it up on the focuser, but uh, that's basically it there. So it's ready to go, ready to be installed. All right, so what's next is to attach this to the focuser, and I need some of the other screws to do that. I'll see what fits. If uh, If they don't fit, I have some I have a box of uh, various screws that I can uh, use and uh, get this attached to the focuser. Okay, I'm just securing the focuser to the Focus Cube 3 by tightening the grub screws and do that with an Allen wrench. Pretty straightforward. There's two grub screws on either side of the sleeve and uh, you can just tighten those down onto the focuser. Sorry about uh, this jumping around here. I'm trying to do this, trying to record this while I'm actually doing the installation as well. Okay, so there we go. There's the grub screws and I can just tighten those down. 
and there's one on the other side as well over here that has to be tightened but before I do that I want to just make sure that this is going to be positioned properly so I'm going to also adjust so that I can put the uh, three screws in right over here I need three screws to mount to the focuser itself so I'm gonna to have to use some of the screws that I have on hand it looks like I need an M3 by 20 for this the ones that came with the focus cube aren't gonna work for my focuser and here I've got one of these screws put in already tightened up with the Allen wrench fairly simple to do I just had to adjust the universal bracket a bit so I need uh, another one of these screws and like I said uh, in my situation here I'm using an M3 by 20 for this purpose for attaching the uh, the universal bracket to the focuser itself jumping ahead I've got the three screws installed now so the universal bracket is secured to my focuser and there it is all purdy looking installed ready to go so now I just have to download the unity software platform from Pegasus Astro which has the ASCOM drivers in it and I'm ready to rock and roll alrighty so that wasn't too bad pretty straightforward overall I'd say let me know what you think in the comments below and we'll see you in another video real soon for now take care and clear skies if you have the clear skies that is I haven't had clear skies since November but oh well we'll see you soon